everyone, I'm Michelle from A Common Life and on my Instagram account, I recently shared with you guys a really great sale that a local bookstore had near me and it was a fill a bag sale where I could fill a bag with as many books as I wanted and it was only $10. So here's a look at all of the books that I picked up at the store. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at all these books. This year in our homeschool, we are studying American history. So I got this whole pile right here of American history books. So this first one is just a reading rainbow book, Dakota Dugout. And this is about the prairie years. The next book is Don't Know Much About the 50 States. And this book is just full of all different kinds of facts about each state. Then we have a book on the Mayflower, Voyage of the Ship's Apprentice and a Passenger Girl. And so this is really great because the kids are reading about the Mayflower right now. It's got all these pictures of what it would have been like to be on the Mayflower. Next, we have this DK Eyewitness book of North American Indian. And this one's really informative. I always love these DK books. They're really good. They have so much information and they always have so many great photographs. So this is gonna be another great one that we can look at together. The next book is another DK Eyewitness book about the American Revolution. And one thing to note is that these DK books are not cheap. They're actually, they're kind of pricey. And so I was so excited to find these and be able to put these in a bag. So again, this is just a bunch of information and pictures all about the Revolutionary War. Then I got the Children's Companion Guide to America's History, and this is a history and government book. And so it's actually laid out in day-by-day -day activities that you can do with the kids. Um, and there's all different assignments. And yeah, this is really interesting. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to use it. And then at the end, there's a definition of terms. But um, this might be a fun little extra project that we can do together, do one of these a day. Um, we'll see. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it yet. And the next book is not exactly about American history. It's an American Girl Doll book that I got from my daughter called Jazz Up Your Jeans. And this is just something fun that she can do, um, some kind of crafts and things like that for her. So not American history, but just something fun. This next stack of books is more history books, and there are several DK Eyewitness books here as well. This is a book on mythology. And so this is just going to be a fun one that I can do with the kids as well. Lots of beautiful photographs and illustrations with lots of just interesting uh, information about mythology. Here's another book about World War II. And this has everything from like the machines to the people to all different parts of the actual war itself. So this one's really interesting too, although it might not be something that I would show my younger children. It would definitely be for my older children. Now here I have a book on pirates and I don't know if the kids are really into pirates or not, but I thought this was a really huge book, chock full of information. So if they are interested in learning about pirates, we have this one. And then I actually found another book on pirates as well. And it's somewhere in this file here at the bottom. So this one is fact or fiction about pirates. And so this might be another fun one for them as well. Again, lots of fun illustrations and information about people and things like that and what the pirates did. So that could be an interesting one as well. The next one is another DK Eyewitness book about the Vietnam War. Again, another one that I probably wouldn't necessarily show my younger children, but facts and information all about the Vietnam War. And then this is a fun book that I actually picked up to give to my sister. It says the year that you were born, 1985. And I thought it would just be something fun. I could kind of maybe throw in her Christmas stocking or something like that. Just lots of facts all about the year that she was born. And this book is called A Soldier's Life, A Visual History of Soldiers Through the Ages. And this one's really neat because they have the people dressed up in the actual costumes or outfits that the soldiers would have worn. So this one's pretty neat and it explains the time period and what was going on. So like here we have the American Revolution. So we could use this part this year, the Civil War. We're also studying that. So there's lots of bits that we'll be able to use from this as well. And then the last history book I got was Crafts from the Past, the Aztecs. And this has presents, jewelry, pictures, arts and crafts and models. So this is definitely fun. Making prints, the zigzag codex, all different kinds of fun things that we could do together that just requires things that you probably already have around the house. Next up is a pile about animals, and here is a dinosaur dictionary and A to Z of dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles. My daughter loves dinosaurs. She loves studying dinosaurs. So this is really cool. It goes in alphabetical order, just showing you all the different types of dinosaurs and reptiles. And this one's a little bit creepy, but it's called Creatures of the Deep. And these are those really cool fish that have the light there. Those are so fascinating. But anyway, I thought this would be really interesting for my children, especially my boys. They love this kind of stuff. So I would actually like to read this with them. It seems really, really interesting. Then we have the book Eyes on Nature, Whales and Dolphins. 
And this is just a really informative book all about whales and dolphins. Then we have this uh, reader called When I Was a Pup, and I thought that this would just be fun for the boys to read. It's nothing difficult, just something they can kind of breeze through, and they love dogs. This was a neat find. It's all about the San Diego Zoo, and it is chock full of information and photographs from the zoo itself. So this is going to be one of those books that the kids can just kind of look through and enjoy the pictures. This is a color in and sticker book of Animals of Australia, and we actually have a really large book about Animals of Australia, so this would be fun to kind of use as a companion to that. And amazingly, it is just still in absolutely perfect shape. It was obviously never used. And then this is a book that my daughter picked out for her little brother, Frosty Friends, and it's one of those texture books. So this will just be really cute for him to look at, and I can read to him or one of his siblings can read to him. The next set of books is just different types of workbooks and things like that. And this is actually a little piano book. Now my kids are learning piano, but I thought this would be kind of a fun supplement to add for things that they can play at home. And then my daughter picked this out. It's the American Girl Library Super Slumber Parties. And it's just full, full of fun ideas of things that you can do at a slumber party. So that's definitely for her. We love doing Mad Libs together. So this was a completely unused Mad Lib set. So we are definitely gonna have fun using that in our homeschool. We love these Highlights Puzzle Mania books, and this was another one that was really in pretty good shape. So I picked this one up. Obviously, you can see it's got some scribbles in it and things like that, but for the most part, it is just completely unused. Then I got this for one of my sons. It's Skylander Spiro's Adventure, and I thought this would be fun for him to do. It's got all different kinds of activities and things like that in it and stickers at the back. Then this is one of those I Spy books. It's Find the Gifts on the 12 Days of Christmas. Oops. And so this is really cute. This will be fun to do. I'll pull this out and I usually put out a big basket of books around Christmas time. So this will be fun to just kind of put in that basket. This next one is a reusable sticker book of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Obviously this one has definitely been used, but we thought it would still be fun to kind of reuse the stickers that are on there because you can just peel them off and move them somewhere else. Then the last two things here are some workbooks. This is a cursive workbook that has never been used. And so I picked that up so that I can use that with one of my kids. I'm not sure who, but that'll be fun. Then here's a workbook called Funny Money, and it's obviously a math book, but it has never been used either. It's got all of the stickers here, well, almost all of them. And then um, it's got all of this information and math problems and things like that. I think that this will be really fun for the kids to do. Another thing that I got was this Brain Quest for grade one. And I've never used one of these before, but I thought this would be kind of fun to just start out our day or if we need to take a little break to do some of these instead. And I picked up just one chapter book. It is The Story of My Life by Helen Keller. And I thought that my kids could read that, my older kids. They would definitely enjoy it. It's such a great book. And here's just a fun book for my boys to read. We didn't have this one. We have a bunch of the Lego Chima books, but here's Craigers Revenge. And here is a book called Father Goose and His Goslings. And this looks really nice. I've never read this before. I don't really know anything about it. It's a really long book, but it's um, illustrated. So I thought that we would check that out. I love basically anything by Leo Leone. So this one is Fish is Fish, and we did not own this one. And I'm not even sure if I've read this one before, but I'm definitely gonna read that to my boys. Then we have Ox Cart Man, and it's another book I've not seen before, but I thought this would be fun to use during our American History series. And it's a Caldecott Medal winner, and it's just really beautiful. I really like the illustrations in here, so I think my kids will enjoy this. This book is called The Tea Squall. I know you can't actually read it, The Tea Squall. And I thought it would be fun to use during our poetry tea time. It seems like a really silly book about some funny ladies, and I'm not really sure. I, I just kind of skimmed it, but it seemed really interesting. So we're going to check that out and see if it's funny. Then I picked up this beautiful copy of The Nutcracker. I thought this would be another one that we could use around Christmas time. And it has the CD to go with it. So I'm just gonna bring it in the car with us. And then it has some recipes and um, the backdrop if you wanna act it out and things like that and use little figures, little punch out figures that come with it. So I thought this would be really fun. I love anything Richard Scary, and here is his book of bedtime stories. I feel like we may have had this at one time, but we definitely don't have it anymore. And this book is in absolutely perfect shape. So this is a book that I'm gonna go ahead and put up in the boys' room. This book is called Silent Letters Loud and Clear. And I thought this would be really fun as my first and second grader are kind of still trying to get a, a grasp on reading that, you know, these are the really tricky things about the English language and that turns it into something fun. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy reading that to them. And then the last book that I picked up is The Parables of Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it just has a parable on each page and then a picture of the parable. So some of the parables obviously are longer than others, but I thought this would be fun to just kind of read a parable a day with the kids. 
Um, it'll definitely keep their interest and it will help them to memorize it better too. So this will be fun to do with the kids this year. Here's just a look at all of the books that I picked up for just $20. I was so excited to be able to find so many really great books that we can use in our homeschool. If you enjoy videos like this, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.